Guys, we've had a lot of fun at the PC, making some friends, making some uh, enemies, uh, talking about you, Paragon. But uh, I think it's about time that we make our debut in the WWE. I'm not going to read these texts. You guys have seen these before, so we are ready. I'm ready to show how far I've come and make the leap to the WWE. Good, I think you're ready too. Oh, and do me a favor, when Sean and Rodok tell you about it, act surprised, okay? Deal, yeah. This is gonna be quite interesting. This is the PC Showcase. Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me Let's get go. to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. All right. And by evaluate, we mean you're going to face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here. So we wanted to give you a new challenge. That all sounds good to me. So, who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. But being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs, and potentially open more doors. But if you lost, risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, what's it gonna be? But I wanna do something a little bit different, because I, I'm assuming from other YouTubers, they picked Drew McIntyre. So, you know, we're gonna pick Shinsuke Nakamura. I wanna take on the so-called King of Strong Style. Give me Nakamura. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait, we almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh... You mean his custom gear we made for him. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain old boring training gear. Uh, no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. Thanks, guys. All right, let's go, Nakamura. You're about to meet Eric Gabriel. Bro, why are we talking to this guy again? Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you going to face anyway? I'm taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him and show the GMs what they've been missing out on. By the mascot? Are you talking about uh, Chase? Ribby? Wait. So you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. Bro, such a... I mean, bro, I'm so tired of this man. I'm so tired of that man. I am so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. But man, the dream got crazy. Uh, but we don't need to get into that. Wait, Mandy Rose is the GM of Raw? <laughs> this is gonna get interesting. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man, I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. 
Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together, work out together, eat together. Don't get too ahead of yourself, Chase. I know. We could do a lot of things together. All right, well, good luck in your match. I'm gonna go buy a new suit to impress the GMs, specifically Mandy Rose. If our real life connection is anything like it was in my dream, there's gonna be fireworks when we meet. Uh, not literally like pyro or anything. I mean like the romantic kind. Yeah, I get it, Chase. Good luck with all that. Yeah, good luck with that, Chase. Good luck with that. Oh yeah, Shinsuke Nakamura. Bro, guys, let me know what you think of this new Eric Gabriel gear. I thought pink would be a cool addition. Oh, look at that, man. Uh, try to impress the GMs by winning the match. Okay, so that makes me wonder. If I lose the match, does that mean I don't get signed by any GM? That's something I'm really curious about. Now, honestly, guys, I, I wanted to face Drew McIntyre. I really did, but you know... Honestly, man, I, I really think Nakamura is very underrated. And, you know, he's a former Royal Rumble winner in his own right, former IC champ, former US champ, former tag champ. He has almost as many accomplishments as Drew McIntyre. So I think it's only fair that we face Shinsuke Nakamura. You know, only Lorcan, no disrespect to him. But, you know, he, he doesn't come close to either Nakamura or McIntyre. Well, it seems that Adam Pearce is also here. And I think I saw William Regal and... Apparently, Mandy Rose is the GM of Raw, so that makes me assume that Adam Pearce is the GM uh, of Friday Night SmackDown, I'm assuming, because William Regal is definitely the GM of NXT. Um, but I wonder how it works, guys. I really wonder if you get to, like, pick what brand you go to, or does, does like, every single GM have their own opinions about you? Like, I'm really curious about that stuff. Oh, bro, not in front of the GMs. Oh, my goodness, man. What the heck? William! William, why did you do that? Why did you do that, William? Regal! Did I win the match? I think I still won the match. Oh, come on, bro. Bro, we cannot... Are you serious? Bro, William Regal, I blame you, man. And that just makes me think I don't want to sign with your show, man. I don't want to sign with NXT. But, you know, that's a bad start. But now we got to redo this entire thing again. And right now, it's not looking too good for us. But again, guys, this is very interesting. Just, just to see Nakamura in this attire, because this is not his main attire in the game. Uh, he has the King Nakamura attire, so it's cool to see him in this attire. Maybe it's an unlockable attire. We'll see. Oh, we got him with that uppercut, Nakamura. How are you feeling that? You're apparently the King of Strong Style, but after this, you, I'll be the new King of Strong Style. Man, I'm from an MMA background. Boom! Yes, sir. Let's follow up. Shooting star, nobody. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to impress the GMs. Not doing too well with that right now. Oh, Nakamura, you're not going to taunt in my face like that. Nah, nah. Get hung up on the ropes. Yeah. Shooting star again. Missing, man. Oh, we got him up. Regal. That's for you, man. Regal Plex. Let's go, man. Three. Let's go, Nakamura. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Nakamura. No! King Shasa. Oh, my God. He's about to win it. One, two. No, not yet. Again, I'm from an MMA background, Nakamura, so I mean, I know how to escape arm bars and stuff, so I mean, you should understand that. Get that arm out, yes sir. Out the back door. <gasps> Boom! Are you serious, man? German. Oh, that was a nice counter by Nakamura! Oh, no, he got us with the cane shots again! No! No! One, two, three. Oh, come on! GG's, Shin. GG's, man. GG's. I know you didn't get the results you desired against Nakamura, but there's no shame in that, and you still showed heaps of potential. With that being said, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to sign with NXT. NXT, man. I mean, Regal. I gotta tell you, man. It was not the result I was looking for, but... Even even after <laughs> you attacked me, by, I'm assuming by accident, um, you know what? It would be an honor. It would be an honor. In my opinion, NXT is the top brand in WWE, and I'm only going to help make it stronger. 
I'm betting on that. And don't forget to take a moment to celebrate this achievement. You've earned it. Thank you, Mr. Regal. Man, I, I wonder, man, if I won that match, would I have gotten an opportunity for Raw and SmackDown as well? I'm, I'm just Thank curious you, about Mr. that. Regal. I promise you won't be disappointed with your decision. I hope not, but we'll find out soon enough. Man, NXT is where Eric Gabriel belongs, man. You look good out there against Nakamura, but I didn't see enough to offer you a SmackDown contract today. Damn. A win would have sealed it, but ultimately... You came up short. Well, after you see what I do in NXT, you'll regret not signing me when you had the chance. I mean, that's going to be true. Maybe. I just can't make that decision right now. I'm sorry. Damn. I'd say I'll see you around, but with that kind of poor decision making, I don't think you're long for the job. Damn. Looks like we're not going to smack that at all, man. Damn. So no offer from Raw, huh? It would have taken a lot more than what you did today to get a Raw contract. Like maybe if you had beaten Drew McIntyre, but you didn't even have the guts to face him. So no, no offer from Raw. Bro, I only picked Shinsuke Nakamura because I wanted to face Shinsuke Nakamura. Nothing against McIntyre. I just wanted to face... Never well, mind. Maybe we'll cross paths some other time. Yeah, maybe. Now, if you don't mind, I have other business to attend to. Oh, looks like we got to talk to Paragon. Let's see what we got to say. You're looking at the blue brand's newest superstar. Took longer than it should have, but finally, I'm gonna show the WWE Universe what the rest of the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the Paragon. Bro, you're telling me Paragon J. Pierce got signed to SmackDown? I didn't even get a c Bro. Good for you. I'm gonna do the same thing in NXT, but without the lame nickname. Bro. I at least fought one of the wrestlers, bro. He fought freaking Chase, man. Whatever. I'd say I'll be watching on NXT, but I'll be too busy dominating SmackDown. But if you ever make it out of the minors, let me know. Bro, the minors is not NXT. NXT is where we steal the show. What you talking about, Paragon? You're not going to get any TV time on SmackDown. I'm telling you that right now. Oh, uh, man. My good friend Hector, what do you got to say for us? Hey, I heard you're going to NXT. Looks like I'll have some company. Let's go, Hector. You're going NXT. You Let's go. NXT too? Let's go, man. That's awesome, man. That's so awesome. Yeah, I just spoke with Regal. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. We should look out for each other there. Absolutely, man. You could be easily Cruiserweight Champion. I'll go for, like, the North American or NXT title. Yeah, that's a good that's idea. A good idea. Especially considering we might have targets on our backs coming in as the new guys. Look forward to competing with you there. Congrats, man. Thanks, man. Bro, Hector, I'm glad you're there with us at NXT. Which, you too. I'm, that, that makes me think Chase is going to Monday Night Raw, right? Chase is going to Raw. <laughs> That's what I think, at least. Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks, Chase, man. You know, you've been a great friend. Uh... Bro, congrats on going to Raw, right? He had to have gone to Raw. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me. And now I'm stuck <laughs> here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Oh, oh, wait, wait, Chase didn't get signed. No, Chase didn't get signed anywhere. Not even, not even NXT, man. Oh, we... Bro, okay. Your time will come, man. I can't... <laughs> I'm sorry, Chase. I'm sorry. I have to do this to you, man. Did you really think you'd get signed? Wake up, man. You've been the weakling since we started here. And your unrealistic outlook only makes things worse. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm speaking the hard truth. That attire says it all, man. I'm sorry. You really think that? Look, I'm not saying you're dead in the water, but consider today a reality check. Three of us were signed and you weren't. If you're ever going to make it, something needs to change. And that's on you. I mean, I have to agree with him. I gotta, I gotta agree with myself on that. Maybe it's not me. Maybe someone's trying to hold me back. Or maybe they just didn't like my look. I can change that easy. I do still have that rib costume. Oh my god. Chase, you're not helping yourself. Chase, look in the mirror. It's none of that other stuff. It's you. I gotta go clean out my locker. See you around. Sorry, Chase. It's the hard truth, man. I'm so sorry. 
Ah, uh, yes, sir. Shawn Michaels. What you gotta say for us? Congrats on getting signed to NXT. I think you're gonna do big things there. Thanks, man. Thank you Thanks so for much. Saying that. Especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. <laughs> Wait, <Well, laughs> I get it. I get it. This is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? Well, of course, man. Of, so of course. Basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE. Exactly. Good luck, kid. Thanks I'll so much, watching. Sean. Thank, thank you so much, Sean, for all the help, man, you've given us. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your boy, Eric Gabriel, is here on NXT. Bro, this is going to be awesome. I cannot wait for what we're about to see here tonight. We weren't able to get an opportunity. An offer from Raw or SmackDown, but you know, maybe that's a blessing in disguise because we already knew we were going to be on main event if we were on Raw, and we already know SmackDown, we were not even going to be on TV. So maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Can I bother you for a selfie? I'd be so thankful. I asked Raul Mendoza when he was through here earlier, and he ignored me. Not that I'm bitter about it, and not that I'd love you to take him down in the ring, but if you wanted to, I wouldn't mind it. You know what, man? Let's make an impact. Let's let's accept this. Let's accept this. Let's make our debut in a big way, big way, shape or form. Let's go. Yes, sir. We're here at the CWC, and it's time for the arrival of Eric Gabriel. This is his first televised match, and it's gonna be crazy, man. Check the it out. Is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Elmwood Park, New Jersey, weighing in at 209 pounds, Eric Gabriel. Man, thank you so much, Greg Hamilton, for the introduction. And look how surreal this is for Eric Gabriel, man. This is such an incredible moment for this, this up-and-coming superstar going up against a member of Legado Del Fantasma. This is going to be quite interesting. I know we can't compete for the Cruiserweight title, but we already know Hector, our good friend, will easily take that title from Santos Escobar. All right, guys, it's time for our first match here in NXT. And the crowd are already erupting, man. Let's go, Eric Gabriel one-on-one -on -one with Raul Mendoza. And we are gonna make a big impact in this match, guys. You already know, Eric Gabriel's goals here in NXT are quite simple, to become champion. And look at this man go. No one here in NXT knows Eric Gabriel too much besides him competing in BCW, but you already know that this might be the best choice Eric Gabriel ever made to sign with NXT. Oh, we missed Wiley, though. Again, guys, honestly, even though I didn't even get an offer but from SmackDown or um, Monday Night Raw, maybe it's a good thing because I feel like I would have signed with NXT anyway uh, just because I want to build myself up. Maybe we stay in NXT the entire My Rise, or maybe we go to SmackDown or Raw if there's an offer or there's another draft or something. I don't know. Uh, we countered him. Muzo connects. This is the first time fans are seeing Eric Gabriel live on TV. Nice leg drop. We are making a big impact here. Watch this. Watch this. Boom. Right to the gut, man. The next big star in NXT. Future NXT champion. Big shooting star press, man. Let's go. All right, you know what? We got to hit him with that power bomb. Show him how Eric Gabriel does it around here. Lifting him up, <laughs> sit out, power bomb, cover. Oh, he kicked out, man. Great idea. You ain't hitting anything on me, man. Keep that in mind. Oh, we got the rear naked choke on him. Rear naked choke, rear naked choke. We got it locked in on him, man. Let's go, let's go. He has to tap out. Eric Gabriel successful in his debut here in NXT. A big, big win, man. Let's continue on with the story. 
Cameron Grimes is the greatest superstar to ever wear a hat. That's that's an interesting tweet. That might be the most ridiculous statement I've ever seen from Cameron Grimes, and I've seen a lot, man. Okay, EG Flames, name one other hat-wearing wrestler who's better than Cameron Grimes. You can't. Sami Zayn, Farouk, JBL, Macho Man, Godfather, oh, The Undertaker, I could go on. None of those losers ever did anything, and I don't appreciate you questioning my greatness, so how about I show you what I can do in the ring? Sounds good, man. We're trying to make an impact. We're trying to build our way up. Sounds good, and don't forget you, your hat so I can knock it off your stupid head. Not going to happen. Cameron Grimes to the moon. All right. Bro, this man. Oh, from behind. Uh, Cameron Grimes didn't even wait, man. He's attacking us. Come on. Bro, I thought Cameron Grimes was a face as well before the tweet, but like, oh, he's not done yet. It looks like we don't get our match, man. Who's the greatest hatted superstar now, Eric Gabriel? Cameron Grimes, baby. The only thing you prove is that you're a coward. Pretty sure Jeff Hardy... Did, didn't teach you to jump people from behind when he trained you. You have no idea what you're talking about. Leave him out of this. Didn't see this, but don't like what I'm hearing, uh, Cameron Grimes. Eric Gabriel is right. Stop worrying about hats and start focusing on winning matches the, the right way. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. Listen to your mentor, Cameron Grimes. Face me again, this time in the ring without a pre-match attack. Fine, but it's just going to be more of the same hashtag to the moon after Eric Gabriel and Cameron Grimes never made it to the ring in their first encounter they will face each other again next week on NXT bro that hat doesn't even look good uh, uh, in general man I mean it looks good on you but it doesn't look good in general All right, man, let's do this. Oh, my goodness, man. This man going crazy. We got to damage him with attacks, it seems. How are you feeling about these, man? I'm an MMA fighter. Remember that. Oh, we got him with the kick. Oh, we missed that mean right hook. Oh, he's lifting us up now. Oh, there's no way he just did that. No, get out of here. Oh, he's back, man. Back and forth we're going, man. I swear, this is actually going to be interesting. Off the ropes. Boom, what a kick. Oh, he's still standing, though. Bro, this man lifting me up now. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Boom. Got him. Got him with the lariat. Let's go, Grimes. Let's go, man. Oh, we got a cutscene here. Oh, right to the eyes. Oh, gave it to the ref. The referee taken out, and now Grimes just stomping away on us. What the hell? Is he going to grab a weapon? Of course. He got a bat. What? what? I've never seen that bat before. Bro. Oh, Jeff Hardy, yes! Yes, Jeff! Yes! Yes, Jeff! Thank you! Thank you! Hit him with a twist of fate! Hit him with a twist of fate! What the hell? Oh my god! Jeff Hardy! Jeff Hardy! You've got to be kidding me! Are you serious? Jeff Hardy, why would you do that? Are you serious, man? Cameron, bro, you are so lucky, man. Bro, Jeff Hardy playing a heel role is quite interesting, not gonna lie. 
But I know Eric Gabriel's not gonna go away quiet with this one. Bro, what the hell? Oh my god. Bro, I, I Eric Gabriel's face, man. I I still can't believe what we just saw. Heck, hmm, maybe you're onto something. Hashtag element of surprise. Is, I feel like it's going to be Dexter Loomis, right? Breaking news. Eric Gabriel and a mystery partner will take on Cameron Grimes and Jeff Hardy in a huge TLC tag match next week on NXT. Who's crazy enough to side with Eric Gabriel in a TLC match against the Charismatic Enigma? We'll find out soon enough. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys want to see this TLC match, make sure to stay tuned for the next episode. So much happened, man. I'm telling you guys, so much just happened. And honestly, I'm excited for what's going what's gonna to come next. But uh, I'm going to definitely end it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It's been EG Flames, and I'll see you guys later.